gustaría proyectar un vídeo de Michael Porter, que bueno, ha sido una persona que ha sido especialmente, estado especialmente involucrada en la relación con el, con el País Vasco desde el inicio de las políticas clúster y su impacto en la competitividad. Y ha, esta, ha querido acompañarnos en este día de celebración también a todos nosotros a través de un mensaje que nos quiere transmitir. I'd like to congratulate all of you here today on this 25th anniversary of Basque cluster policy. Uh, what a, a marvelous occasion, uh, recognizing a, a truly unique journey uh, that the Basque country has been on. Uh, this anniversary is also particularly special to me because it also is the 25th anniversary of the publication of the book, A Competitive Advantage of Nations. And the Basque Country will always be special to me in that regard as well. I want to recognize and thank uh, John Thua, uh, who I met 25 years ago. And, and John was really the first person in the world uh, that having been exposed a little bit to the ideas in competitive advantage of nations, uh, approached me and, and asked if I would work with you Uh, to apply these ideas in the Basque Country. And, and the Basque Country became the first place, really, in which the Competitive Advantage of Nations concepts were uh, actually put into practice with John's great leadership and his great help. Uh, the transformation that has taken place in the Basque Country since those days is really one of the great economic success stories uh, in the world. And I think you should all be incredibly proud of what you've accomplished. In fact, we have a Harvard Business School case study on it. Um, the Basque Country, uh, as part of in introducing competitive advantage of nations thinking, was a real early pioneer in cluster policy. Um, and it was such an important example because the Basque Country actually got cluster policy right. Uh, so many people have uh, tried to apply cluster policy, but really haven't understood it or applied it in the right way. Uh, the Basque Country really has shown the way uh, to doing cluster policy the way it can be done to achieve great power and transformation. Uh, in the Basque Country, uh, uh, the whole concept of clusters was applied around building on strengths, not wishful thinking of businesses that you wanted to be in, as so many other countries have Uh, mistakenly tried to do. Uh, in the Basque Country, uh, the cluster concept was used as a way to organize not only business, but also organize public policy. So the government could provide the kind of support that really mattered uh, and that could really uh, enhance productivity and, and drive competitiveness. Uh, in the Basque Country, cluster policy has not been static. It's evolved over time as the circumstances change, as the clusters get more advanced, as the global economy evolves. And in the Basque Country, cluster thinking has been sustained and long-term. It's not just a one-shot, one-year program uh, looking for a quick fix, but it's really been uh, integral to the long-term economic development of, of the region and the success that you've achieved in, uh, in, uh, compared to other regions uh, looking back over those years has been remarkable. Uh, I also want to say that the Basque Country and many of the people in this room Uh, have been very important to cluster thinking, to actually advancing cluster concepts, uh, and, and, and indeed to advancing competitiveness concepts uh, around the world uh, with a special uh, uh, recognition of the impact you've had in many Latin American countries. Orchestra is in itself a major accomplishment. It, it was a pioneering organization to really support Uh, uh, economic development and cluster-based economic development that has played a fundamental role not only in the Basque Country through training and through teaching and through educating leaders and doing uh, studies, but also in doing research that has deepened the concepts of cluster-based development uh, and spread them uh, uh, globally through the publications of, of the organization. So I just want to tell you all how proud I am to be associated with you in the Basque Country, to be associated with orchestra, uh, to remember the many fond memories I have of actually visiting the Basque Country uh, over the years, 
Uh, and it's going to be really, really exciting to watch the next chapter, uh, the next five, the next 10, the next 15 years, and how this whole effort develops. Uh, it's been a tough time in Europe um, uh, and a tough time in many parts of the world, but I think we have an opportunity if we continue to focus on these fundamental ideas about what actually underpins prosperity uh, to actually come out of this difficult period stronger than ever, and hopefully the Basque Country will lead the way. Thank you very much, and uh, I am, uh, will be excited to hear about the many discussions you'll have during this meeting. Thank you.